Today is a fun day with Maneskin before the fame from 2016 to 2017. A big shout out to the wonderful person that put this together. He's called MJ. Check him out on YouTube. MJ90s is his name. I'll have it in the description as always below because I am a person who likes to, when other people have done all the work and I'm only reacting, I do a fabulous thumbnail which I've done for this particular video and it's also in their early days when they were on a talent show and Damio goes there with two X's and I'm thinking X Factor well done Damio and the judges trust me on that show were <gasps> Ooh, overwhelmed by the music but turned on by Damio's appearance and I have to say I think Ethan was a bit overwhelmed by the reaction Damio was getting in shorts but I made a thumbnail of it and it's for you to follow it through on YouTube because today's video is raw it's before their fame when they were young and fresh and I uploaded a couple of serious videos uh, of late and I wanted pure escapism and when I saw the video and I went through it very quickly for the images I said you know what this is the video for today for all of us to appreciate the hard work and talent and rawness of a band that walked onto Eurovision on a global audience and blew everybody away basically they blew everybody away because they didn't sing a ballad and it was a rock fest song they came out with and it really really did never look back and I have to say Italy your endeavours have always been incredible in the Eurovision, but we need more of what Maneskin has to offer. Your country is full of wonderful rock music, but we're not getting it coming forward. And it's such a pity. Now today, what am I going to do? Because it's five minutes long, there's a couple of breaks in this video. And I want to introduce as many of the 29 facts I have in front of me and I've researched. And I want to start with a couple of fun facts. We'll play the video. Then we'll, I'll give you another couple of fun facts. We'll, we'll finish the video and then I'll finish it with a few more. Just to wrap it up. A bit of escapism. No breaking down of the lyrics. None of this. But a bit of Amy Winehouse is in this video. They're out uh, busking and there they are playing an English version of one of Amy Winehouse's uh, songs. Which back to time I reacted to it's on my channel check that out and all I can say to this band is you have proven one thing people said Eurovision is dead it's not not when it can produce bands like yourselves Maneskin and we're just gonna have a bit of fun and I hope you enjoy the video and if you do like this video check out MJ 90s website because he's the one that compiled it check out my website as well don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want more of the same please leave a comment but leave a comment anyway because i think maniskin is one of those bands that will always look back and go look at them wow when they were so young so fresh wow so that's what we're going to do i'm going to give you two minutes now of fun facts and we'll start with when Italy won the 65th Eurovision Song Contest with Maneskin and the song Ziti e Buone, performed by Maneskin. It's the third win for Italy, it was at the time, that last triumphed in 1990. At the time, 26 countries took place in the grand final of the world's largest live musical event, which took place on 22nd of May in Rotterdam. An estimated audience of 200 million have seen this, seen that year's contest and more since, when it was broadcast live in and the 30 in the 39 participating countries, and online on YouTube. Maneskin wrote the winning song, which finished the night with 524 points, 25 points ahead of the second place France, represented by Barbara Pravi singing "Voila" and Switzerland's Gian Tears. With, that, with Toute le, le Universe finished in third place. Both Barbara and both Gion are on my channel as well with different songs, so do check out my channel for them if you're followers of Bozak's. A YouTube video, it continues, which apparently showed lead singer David sniffing cocaine caused a scandal. The band denied using drugs during 
the following press conference. Moreover, the video shows that the artist had both hands on his knees, which makes it quite impossible to sniff cocaine on a table. I can only say one thing, Eurovision. When you're looking for headlines, it's a bit sad when you use a winning act and that kind of thing. And a journalist looks for their five minute um, five minutes of fame by putting somebody in disrepute straight away in at such a pivotal moment in their career. It's a disgrace. It really is. And then we go on to Maneskin is an Italian rock band that was founded by Vittoria, the bass guitarist, and Thomas, the guitarist, in 2015 when they were in high school in Rome. Damio David led uh, the lead singer and Ethan Torchio, drummer, joined the band in 2016. The four members of Maneskin are from Rome, where they all live. In Italy, Maneskin rose to fame in 2017 when the band took part in the talent show X Factor even though they didn't win. Now I have a special thumbnail nail I've created from that talent show with Damio with X on his chest covering his nipples and I have to say I thought it was so hilarious and so ahead of their time the way they were dressed and everything that had to be the thumbnail for this video so do check out my hard work because it took a long time to put that together but I think it, it, it's a glorious example of the build-up to what they became when they won Eurovision. Now in March 2021 they won the San Marino Festival, Italy's most important musical fest festival with that song Ziti e Bueno. The three months later they performed the song at the Eurovision in Rotterdam and the musicians didn't perform line only Damio sang live. Ah. Maneskin has millions of followers on Instagram individually and collectively. Now, Victoria Maneskin's uh, basis and, le and leader, it says here, graced the cover of Elle, LA in Italy's May issue that year. In the interview, she said that as a girl, she had short hair, dressed like a boy and loved skateboarding. She was, since she was inspired to change her look by Kim Gordon, the bassist, guitarist and vocalist of alternative rock band Sonic Youth. Victoria used to have panic attacks when she was 14. She couldn't get out of the house anymore and lost a school year because of it. I used to feel ashamed of it, she said, but I don't hide it anymore, she said in the interview with LA. Victoria's mother, who died five years ago, was Danish. I think it's more years since this research was done. And Maniskin means moonlight in Danish. Victoria, who speaks Danish fluently, learned to play the guitar and the bass at school. She's single. She says that she's never been in a relationship with lead singer Damio, but that her relationship is very special. We're more than just brother and sister. We're more than friends, she said. And to Damio, David has a strong ragamuffin voice timbre, which you're going to hear live. He hated school and therefore only has a high school degree. Damio loves the 70s fashion and looks and has various tattoos. The most discussed one being Je suis Christ, I'm Jesus Christ in French. Now, drummer Ethan, whose long shiny hair is the envy of each woman, is quite a mystery. Very little is known about him. Damio calls him the guru because his perception is based on objectivity. He's the son of a film director, has nine siblings from three different mothers, and Ethan's eldest sister is 41 years old. She's now 43, I think, at this stage. And he joined Maniskin after having responded to a Facebook ad. Oh, I wish I had applied. <laughs> I could have been the background singer or dancer. And Thomas, the youngest member of the band, learned to play the guitar as a child. He met Victoria at high school in Rome. His nickname in the band is The Cobra. As a teenager, he used to work at the Hard Rock Cafe in Rome. Even though he plays various guitars, his, his favorite one is the Fender Square Japan 1983. Let's get going with live version of these, these kids at the time that became the global sensation that they are now.
this one, I think. Now before we continue with that, after that long winded rap rap rap, I'm just going to wrap it up with a few more fun facts just to have a bit more about this band. Wasn't he exceptional? Just to, They all are, but Damien Doom rapping at such a fast pace, I didn't understand a word of it, it's all in Italian, but I have to say Damio, Ooh, well done. Now, except for Damio, the member of the Maniskin is in a relationship right now, no member of Maniskin is. Uh, Although people are arguing with me right now that Damien still has the girlfriend called Giorgio, sorry, Igier. Somebody must be talking about me. Maybe it's you in the video. Or you're all screaming that I stopped it, but there's a reason. We're going out on a high with them. And she was an influencer. And this is a couple of years back who streamed her reaction to Maniskin's victory live on Instagram at the ESF, ESC final in 21. So influencer's narcasm has no limits. That's all I can say. The couple has been in a relationship for eight years. Now, I don't know if they're still together. I don't know anything about their relationships, to be honest. I'm a musical reactor, not a relationship developer or have interest in people's relationships. It's the music. So, in the Italian version of the new Disney movie, Cru Cruella, Victoria lent her voice to a fashion reporter, while Damo lent his voice to Jeffrey Andrew Leong. The assistant of the Baroness von Hellman, uh, who was played by Emma Thompson, voice wise. And in 2021, Gucci launched a new ad campaign featuring the four members of Maniskin. Two ad campaign pictures and a video was released. So back on to finishing this video, and I'll give you one or two more facts, and that's it for today. Take it away, Maniskin. <laughs> That is it, everybody. I'm going to finish it off with more relevant facts. <sighs> That's 2022. Okay, let's see if there's anything in 2020. In September 22, Maniskin performed at La Camisca Negra in Spanish. It's the biggest international hit by Juan's, a Colombian superstar. Now let's go down again. Let's go up. Is there anything else to finish it off? No. Just lots and lots of different videos and that's it. 
And this Maniskin article was published on the 23rd of May 2021. And obviously it's been updated since then. And needless to say that there's much more to reveal than 29 facts about Maniskin in my next reaction. But until then, ciao bellas and grazie for listening to me. Ciao. <laughs>